Throughout your training, you may encounter different types of tourniquets. These are the three most common tourniquets that you may encounter. This is the cat tourniquet, probably the most uh, best well-known tourniquet. We'll go through how to apply the cat tourniquet. This is a soft tee. It's another windless tourniquet, very similar to the cat. We'll go through the instructions on applying the soft tee. And this is the SWAT T tourniquet. As you approach a casualty, you want to assess, does this casualty have severe bleeding? Things that you're looking for for severe bleeding are spurting blood, heavily pooled blood, or blood soaked clothing. In this case, this casualty has blood soaked clothing over his thigh. What we would want to do is identify the source of the bleeding and expose the area. So he has hemorrhage in this area. So what we would want to do is to apply a tourniquet two to three inches above that location. We'll go through each of the tourniquets on how to apply them in this location. To apply the SWAT T tourniquet, comes enclosed in this bag, what you would do is twist and that will allow the bag to be open and you'll have the tourniquet that will be initially available. What you will do is you want to make your first wrap with the SWAT T loosely to just get it to hold. Then with each increasing wrap you will tighten. And the intent is if you look at the tourniquet, when it's in its relaxed phase, you have these ovals and diamonds. As you tighten it, those ovals and diamonds become circles and that indicates you have an adequate amount of pressure. You want to continue tight wraps and then at the end of the, um, the, the length of tourniquet, what you'll want to do is tuck the tourniquet under one of the previous wraps by tucking it underneath and retaining the tourniquet. This is an ac adequately applied tourniquet. If the hemorrhage is stopped, then your tourniquet is adequate. If you have continued bleeding, you can place another tourniquet either over or above the existing swap tee. Next, we're going to show the application of the soft tee tourniquet. Soft tee comes packaged. Packaging is discarded. There are rubber bands around the tourniquet. You'll see this is actually a training tourniquet because of its blue color. Most soft tees will come in a black color. Um, I believe they also make an orange color, but uh, the, the training tourniquet will work uh, just like the, um, the, the actual tourniquets. To place the tourniquet, you can slide the tourniquet over the limb, or if you're going around a thigh, you can actually disconnect the tourniquet. So once the tourniquet is around the limb, it's reconnected. And it's very, very important that you get all of the slack out of the tourniquet before tightening the windlass. And I begin tightening the windlass until bleeding stops. Once the bleeding stops, I retain the tourniquet with the triangle. We're now going to demonstrate the application of the cat tourniquet. This is blue, which generally represents training tourniquets. Cat tourniquet typically comes in a black or orange for the actual tourniquets. The packaging is removed. And the tourniquet is open. This tourniquet can be slid over an extremity in this configuration, or the tourniquet can be opened and the tourniquet routed through the single route point and tightened down. Now, if you look at some of the older generation cat tourniquets, they will actually have two routing points. 
The current recommendation is if you have an older generation cat tourniquet, still route it only through one of the routing points, that you will get adequate uh, adherence by using the single routing point. So to place the cat tourniquet, I will run the tourniquet around the limb through the single routing point, making sure that I get all of the slack out of the tourniquet, and I have a good contact point for all of the Velcro. At this point, I will tighten the tourniquet, and retain them writing the time of application. This is an example of severe bleeding. This casualty has heavy blood soaking in their clothing, there was spurting blood, and there's pooling blood around the casualties. If you see these signs, this is an example of a casualty that would need hemorrhage control, whether through direct pressure, placement of a tourniquet, or potentially packing a wound with a pressure dressing. So there was a wound here that we've packed with a roll of Curlex. Now, to apply a dressing over the top of a packed wound, you can use a SWAT tourniquet. Your first wrap around the dressing should be a relatively loose wrap. And as a pressure dressing, you're going to wrap this, but you are no longer going to make the ovals into circles or the diamonds into squares. You want them to be continued in their configuration as you wrap the tourniquet. And again, your final wrap, you will tuck the tourniquet on itself. And that'll be retained as a pressure dressing.